welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today we have a poundland haul but i also have a bit of vlog footage so um one thing i will mention start this video as i always do in my poundland hauls i did pick up a, a cheeky scratch card so we'll see at the end of this video if we are a winner in the meantime if you are not make sure you're set and ready with a nice cozy drink some snacks and i'll show you the vlog footage first and then meet you back here to share with you everything that I picked up. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like You can't do better, so much better If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better little guy here next to me waiting patiently aren't you yes you are i do have a little toy for him so i don't know if i vlogged it did i vlog it where the the little gray elephant they had a gray elephant and a lion as well which usually i would get the lion he's our little simba i always say that especially when we could pick him up we used to go simba yeah we did do you remember that but i did pick up the big elephant which uh ikea do in my latest ikea video so i thought i'd go for the elephant three pound in pound but we'll let that slide who's that is that your new toy let me open it for you then wait a minute oh it has got a squeaker. But yeah, three pound for this little guy. Go on then, you can have him over there. So um, that's the only thing that I got for him, is it? I can't remember. We'll soon find out. I've got three bags to get put through. Oh God, don't call me crazy. These are in the men's wear. Oh yeah, they do smell, don't they? They smell like plasticky. But anyway, they are like croc style shoes and they were only two pounds i think were they two pounds three pounds sorry they're only three pounds i went for a size seven to be nice and big to if you've got fluffy socks on or whatever just throw these on and nip out i literally have about 10 pairs of different shoes by the back door i'm going to put them all back away and just keep these by the back door i am still tempted to invest in a pair of crocs but for now i thought i would pick these up at only three quid three quid they had different colors as well but yeah men's wear these ones are in then as for women's wear i did actually pick up some clothes so i finally ventured a bit th further afield to a poundland that has pep and co and the clothing there is average i'm not gonna lie i think for the price point 
it's it's okay i still prefer primark and primark are similar price points however i did see this set and i loved the look of it so i did pick it up it's a pair of shorts and a sweatshirt so the shorts unfortunately they only had a large available so i thought i'm gonna try it and see if i can make them work they were six pounds and they have a drawstring waist so i do think they'll cinch in and they have pockets as well and they've got this cute little turn up on the bottom but also a little little kind of like embroidered is it say does it say los angeles los angeles established 1995 south beach paradise california and then the top which is like a sweatshirt style it's quite thin and lightweight good for summer is um in an extra large they did have all sizes available but i decided to size up for the top half and it does cinch in at the bottom if you did want it as like a cropped style you can cinch it right in and tie it up um and yeah it has that same Los Angeles there on the front. So the top was nine pounds, shorts six pounds. See what I mean, fairly kind of prime out price points. And then this also was in the menswear and this is more of just a casual, it's only three quid every day kind of throw one piece dog walking outfit a big oversized t-shirt like this usually from menswear with some black cycle shorts is like an everyday kind of dog walking outfit for me in the summer so three pound it's got from the rooftop downtown i love that font and then again i sized up to the biggest size they had an extra extra large so that it is long enough and baggy enough to wear with cycling shorts i do tend to wear it like a little bum bag when i walk him as well so that cinches up the top okay we have a white company dupe alert if you saw my white company dupes a video recently i talked about this bamboo outdoor lantern that they have on their website i found a little dupe in poundland of all places and this one i think it was six pounds yeah six pounds so um really nice great for indoor great for outdoor i think i personally would prefer to have this outdoor and once we've you know landscaped and sorted out our garden a bit better then i've got some nice white chairs that i picked up from ikea again you've probably seen it if you watch the ikea vlog um so i thought this would look nice maybe alongside one of those i wasn't sure whether or not to pick these ones up but i thought why not if not for any other reason than just to show you guys as well but they have these champagne flutes there's a whole new range of black crockery and these are actual glass but they are black sleek kind of almost a wet look design i just thought <laughs> look at me thinking ahead of the game here but halloween hear me out halloween if you had like a bit of a drinks do to have like black champagne flutes i thought would look so cool and then this was the other black crockery they had side plates and big plates as well i did just opt for these two because i don't need a full crockery set so i got a little bowl because these come in handy anytime to just throw in some snacks and have in the middle of the table if you're hosting or whatever just to have out um but also i did pick up a mug because again i am mug obsessed and i have a whole collection i do have my favorites but i also do have some cheaper ones like this that are ideal for the builders <laughs> And then sticking with kind of kitchenware, I have this, which some of you may recognize this melamine material as the outdoor set that I have from Poundland. I have a full set. I think I've got eight pieces of the plates and the pasta bowls. But I also have decided to get this kind of platter. The only thing with these is that they're not dishwasher safe or oven safe or anything. So it's pretty much just for serving outdoor for like barbecues that these are practical and ideal for for cold foods and liquids maximum two hours each time use what's that all about may break if dropped hand wash only not suitable for use in microwaves ovens or dishwashers they're really you know covering their back with this <laughs> doesn't give me the best of hope but my other plates and bowls have been absolutely fine so far so anyway i decided to get the platter version as well just great for having like a long garlic bread on or some little tapasy nibbly bits and then i got two of these sets of cutlery that comes in this little container it's like a bamboo stone effect little container with plastic forks and spoons and knives basically they are reusable and just ideal for again if you're going out and about and having a picnic or something to have that contained within this is not only ideal for not having to take your nice cutlery out but also good for when they are dirty to put them back in their container so it's not going to like ruin the inside of your bag um and yeah we love having a little outdoor barbecues little picnics 
So these are perfect for that. So I did pick up two sets, one for myself and one for Tom. He's asleep, so we won't shake the box. But this is a big box of Purina Bonio, Bonio biscuits. They, okay, so the reason why I got this is because I have, um, from Ikea some like lollipop makers and I talked about in that video how I wanted to do like a frozen treat for him especially in the hot weather he loves them like a frozen watered down butter peanut butter mix into one of those ice lollies but instead of putting the plastic stick back in to have the ice lolly for him use a bone that is like acts as the stick to be able to take them out but also obviously then that makes the entire thing edible and safe for them to run off with and do with as they wish so um i just want to see the size of one okay yes perfect because i couldn't open the box i wasn't sure how big they were going to be but these are ideal perfect for sticking in having a nice frozen drink drink treat and also they get the bone as well at only a pound i thought this was a really good find from the makeup section this is from their brand the makeup gallery makeup brush cleanser cleans and conditions all types of makeup brushes alcohol free quick rinse just a really good in between washing because i usually use my style pro brush cleanser i thought i would even give this a try as the cleanser for the Star Pro machine just because it can get quite expensive buying that cleanser all the time. So we'll see if this one works, who knows, hopefully it will. And it does contain peppermint oil and tea tree oil, so it's gonna get them minty fresh, smelling good as well. Hopefully that doesn't mean breakouts. I will update you if it does. Oh, we have another item from the beauty section, the makeup section, and it's from, again, Makeup X Gallery. It's a showtime, this is a two-in-one prime and fix spray with it's stating at the bottom there, it is a dewy version, which is great because I love kind of dewy finish. It is sealed up and I do currently have one on the go, so I'm just gonna keep it sealed up for now. But again, if you wanna know how I get on with this, then let me know and I will let you know. But it's a really nice kind of pretty colored bottle. I loved the packaging. They had loads of uh, products in this kind of packaging as well, like they had foundations, all sorts. Sticking with beauty products, I found this Hygiene Fresh Sanitizing Hand Spray Antibacterial Effect. So you just spritz it all over your hands and the surface, whatever you wanna anti-back. And then I also picked up this, which is a fragrance mist in Citrus Herb. This is one of their kind of Jo Malone dupe style products that they do in the similar kind of fragrance as well. I went for the Citrus Fresh, they, Citrus Fresh, Citrus Herb, they did have different fragrances available. But I thought I would opt for this as, um, not just as a natural fragrance mist for me, but I'm thinking more for like linens and in the air and just a general fragrance spray for a pound. I thought, why not? Let's try it. Oh yeah, okay, that's quite subtle. That's definitely not that strong. You know, if you don't like overpowering scents, this is really light. I think that's the herb element, and I suppose the citrus. But it's really light and it's not too full on. Another beauty item I picked up, so I decided to get this as like a really nice cool toned nude brown kind of colour. So it's again from Makeup Gallery, their own line, and it is in the shade Latte, number five. Correct me if I'm wrong. You play with your toy. You play with your toy. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's perfectly fine to use uh, nappy wipes on dogs. So I actually have like a grooming bag for Barney and when he comes in with muddy paws, but he's not needing a full wipe down. Sometimes I just use a wipe to actually clean his paws. And then I also got this clean as a whistle all purpose cloth. This is a 50 pack, only a pound um, in this kind of gray and white chevron style design. Just a really good handy roll of cloths to have and add to my cleaning cupboard. Speaking of cleaning cupboard, I also have this, which is a Febreze, which I use in the living room where Barney is constantly on the sofa and everything, and his bed and everything. I use this because it is a pet odor eliminator. Okay, what else do we have? Ooh, this was, I think, left over from Father's Day, but it's a whiskey and decanter set was five pounds but it's really heavy and feels good quality now i actually used to have a decanter set uh, a decanter and glass set i think i got it from amazon ages ago and i had it in the old house on the bar trolley and they smashed on route so 
just binned them, got rid, and when I saw this I thought, oh yeah, I'll put that to one side for now, and maybe get that out when we do um, redo our kitchen, if we bring the bar trolley back out, or put that somewhere, maybe we could put that in the dining room actually. I'm at the stage now where I'm starting to plan all the interior things for the different rooms, and I've got little mood boards that I've created. Um, anyway, that's completely off topic, but yeah, five pounds. I thought that was really good. And then I also picked up this for a pound. This is a store fresh six litre tub. They have so many different storage tubs in this kind of design, all different sizes. Um, but this is the biggest one that I could find and I thought it would be handy to have on the kitchen side with a load of his kibble in that I can just top up every couple of days or however however quickly he gets through this and so I've not got a big bag of food on the side okay on to the last bag now and these are all treats yummy snacks which always get me first of all some whipped cream because I love an iced coffee and I've got this new blender which you can do different recipes with and put the iced um, coffee with a load of this on top so it's like a real proper frappuccino so I picked up that and also good for like hot chocolates and stuff as well and then speaking of chocolates one of my fave chocolate bars, the M&M's Crispy. And then I've got some Fox's biscuits. I do definitely think Fox's are the best for biscuits. And I have the Golden Crunch ones. These are the Crunch Creams, the chocolate and cream ones. I've never had the chocolate ones before, but I think I'm gonna love them. I can't have a coffee without biscuits. Very rare that I'll have a coffee without biscuits. Um, and then I also spotted this, which I've seen online, but I've never actually seen these in store before. So when I saw them, I only picked up one, and I'm kind of regretting just picking up the one, to be honest with you. So Lotus Biscoff and Go Biscuit Spread and Spreadable Sticks, great for on the go, and just for a good little kind of afternoon snack. And then the last item I got was this Betty Crocker Gooey Chocolate Chip Cookie Mac, a Cookie Max, a Cookie Mix. So it serves eight to delicious little treats. Simply add butter and water. I love this kind of a lazy bake for desserts in an evening, especially as we're like using HelloFresh and it's nice to like cook all your meal from scratch, basically. And to then have a dessert, I'm always like, mm, what do I fancy? And I quite like to sometimes just bake fresh cookies and we'll, I mean, it says serves eight. I tend to do big chunky cookies when I do them, so it would probably make four and we'll just end up eating them all that night. Or I can have like one that night for dessert and then one for my with my coffee in the morning. So yeah, it only takes a 10 to 12 minutes to do. So a nice kind of fresh bakery. It makes your kitchen smell lovely. Really easy lazy baking. Betty Crockers are usually really good, so that's good. Okay, last but not least, we have a scratch card. I think I've only ever won one <laughs> of the Poundland ones. I do quite like them though, because they are for charity. They are charity cards. This one is for the British, Royal British Legion. Oh, we've got a 25, we've got a 25, 75, 20, 20, 75, 10, 10. Okay, so I need either a 25, a 20, a 10, a 75, and it's a 100. So, no win. Bonus game, find a star to win, and it's not, it's a block of money, so never mind. We are not a winner. We, we've done our little part for charity. That's how I see it with these Poundland ones. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, whatever you end up doing, and I do hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.